AI and the entertainment industry, uh, because a lot of people in the entertainment industry are like, AI is going to replace voiceovers and actors. And But again, that human connection and that humanity that we bring to our writings, our performance, um, cannot be 100% replicated by AI. So let's see what this guy, his name is producer Patrick. We'll show is the AI video. turning out to be a dud for the entertainment industry? Some experts think the rush to embrace AI was too far too fast. The quarterly reports are disappointing to say the least, and they have failed to meet the high expectations of investors. Well, that triggered the recent wave of sell-offs. And even in the entertainment industry, AI is already hitting some of its limitations. So far, AI can assist in creative processes like screenwriting, but human nuances, cultural context, and innovative thinking are proving to be challenging to replicate. The use of AI in entertainment has already raised so many ethical questions, such as the authenticity of AI-generated content. The legal frameworks for intellectual property and copyright are still evolving. The industry still needs to balance out automation and determine what those human roles still are, especially when it comes to editing and post-production, musical composition, and animation. And no one has quite figured that out yet. Human performance and connection is what's important, so it's still uncertain how AI-generated content will be embraced by the audience, knowing that the humans involved are completely artificial. I think Think that art is such a human experience. It's, it's it's expressing your human experience through a story, or through acting, or through whatever it is. Um, so how can AI express a human experience if it's not human? And for the audience, the whole part of art, or whoever's comp like looking at it or listening or whatever the art form is it's to make them feel something right to respond to touch them somehow whether it's funny sad glad mad anger whatever it is yeah it's to get them to feel and respond so if it doesn't have that nuance and that magic our energy is magic behind it yeah. it's not possible like can you tell the difference between a, if you're reading something that's been generated by AI or you're looking at an AI generated like, you know, animation or film or you video. Can, you can. And the inter interesting part is that, for example, ChatGPT, it can learn your voice, but it has to learn your voice to speak in your voice and not speak in whatever voice, you know, like what it's been programmed to speak. 